from the Lakeside Newsroom of the Henrico Citizen, your hometown news source since 2001. This is the Henrico News Minute with publisher Tom Lapis. The Henrico School Board establishes a plan for making masks optional in schools, and Virginia is getting money for electric car charging stations. We'll tell you more in today's Henrico News Minute for Friday, February 11th, 2022. It's brought to you today by Henrico County. And now for the news. The Henrico School Board yesterday voted unanimously to set clear guidelines governing when the school division will remove its mandatory face mask policy. The four-metric plan includes three standards that already have been met. Those are a minimum 70% vaccination rate in the county, the mitigation of student outbreaks at the school level, working in partnership with the Virginia Department of Health, and having COVID-19 testing available in schools, a standard that was met yesterday when the system implemented its Test to Stay program. The fourth metric, which the county has not yet met, is a two-pronged one. The county's COVID transmission rate must be less than 100 new cases per 100,000 people for two weeks in a row. It's currently just about half of that. And its positivity rate among PCR testing encounters must remain below 10% for two straight weeks, but it's currently just more than 16%. Those four sets of metrics were developed by the school system's division leadership team. The board voted to take away its own authority to end the mask mandate and put it in the hands of Superintendent Amy Cashwell, who will do so when the county reaches that last metric said School Board Vice Chair Christy Kinsella, who represents the Brooklyn District, quote, it's a transition, not a pivot, end quote. Now, all of this would be for naught if the plan working its way through the General Assembly becomes law, a bill sponsored in the Senate and passed earlier this week includes a provision that would give parents the legal right to send their children to school without masks. It it is expected to pass through the Republican-controlled House of Delegates easily and then will advance to the desk of Governor Glenn Youngkin for his signature. He'll have the option to put an emergency clause on the bill that would make it effective immediately. Mobile COVID-19 testing events will take place at several Henrico and Richmond locations today and tomorrow. It's the beginning of the new mobile initiative from the Richmond and Henrico Health Districts after they closed the Community Testing Center at Richmond Raceway earlier this week. Today's events will take place from 9 to 11 at the Libby Mill Library parking lot, from noon to 2 and 3 to 5 at the Arthur Ashe Center parking lot in Richmond on the Arthur Ashe Boulevard. Tomorrow from 9 to 11 a.m. at the Bryan Park Farmers Market on Hermitage Road, from noon to 2 p.m. at the Fairfield Area Library parking lot, and also from 3 to 5 p.m. back at the Ashe Center parking lot. You can find a complete list of testing opportunities by visiting rchd.com or calling 205-3501. Virginia is receiving the first of five installments of federal funding for the construction of electric vehicle charging stations throughout the Commonwealth. Federal officials made that announcement yesterday. The state will get $15.7 million and then subsequently another $90.6 million during the next five years to build the stations. The money was all part of the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act passed by Congress last year. And we now know the dates of the graduation ceremonies for Henrico's public high schools. This year they will return to VCU's Siegel Center for the first time in a couple years following a stint at Richmond Raceway. On Tuesday, June 14th, Hermitage, Tucker, and Glen Allen High Schools will graduate. Then the next day on the 15th, it'll be Verina, Henrico, and Highland Springs. And finally on Thursday, June 16th, Godwin, Freeman, and Deep Run. Live streams of each ceremony will be available on the school system's website. Replays also will be available online. A bill aiming to protect the right of government employees to oppose government policies advanced to the House of Delegates floor this week. It was introduced by... Glenn Davis, a Republican from Virginia Beach, with support from co-patron Wendell Walker, another Republican from Lynchburg. The General Laws Committee passed the bill by a vote of 13 to 9. The bill would protect state and local government employees from punishment for expressing opinions that oppose a government rule, regulation, or policy at a hearing of a public body during the time designated for public comment. 
The bill applies only to hired employees, not elected officials. It also would exempt employees from being forced to speak a particular message if that message would violate the employee's deeply held beliefs. But lawmakers also added new language to the bill that an employee is not exempt from f- fulfilling his or her employment duties. Now, there's no current law that forbids government employees from expressing their opinions, but Davis said that some of them are still being punished for expressing beliefs. He used a teacher speaking out against evolution as an example. You can read more about the bill right now on HenricoCitizen.com by clicking on News and then Government. And tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., it's the 21st annual Henrico Humane Society Pet Expo. It'll take place at the Richmond Raceway. The event was scheduled for last month but delayed because of bad weather. Vendors and exhibitors will be on site selling pet-related products and services. There will also be a variety of activities, many of which involve pet participation. Tickets are $8 in advance or 10 at the door, ages 6 through 12 or $5, and children under 6 and pets are admitted for free. All proceeds will benefit the Humane Society, which is an all-volunteer, nonprofit animal rescue organization. You can learn more at HenricoHumane.org. Today's Henrico News Minute has been brought to you by Henrico County, which is celebrating Black History Month all month long. Visit the county's YouTube page at youtube.com backslash Henrico County Government to watch original documentaries and biographies spotlighting Henrico's black community. That's youtube.com backslash Henrico County Government.